And I wanted to ask you of like any specific lessons that you've taken away from your time being in the room with all of these various thought leaders over the last three and a half years. Like if there's any specific lessons that stick with you to this day. I think the main one is, um, damn, this is a hard, is a hard question, but the main one I think is that there's a big difference between an amateur and a professional. And is there's no there's no big difference in like how smart they are or how artistic they are or or how good looking they are or you know the the professional understands that they gotta show up every day and be consistent over a long period of time and the amateur never gets that the amateur is amazing goes in spurts does a sprint for like two three weeks and then takes a two two weeks off because nothing worked out as as imagined but the professional I think. Um, this, what separates them from being an amateur is that they show up every day, no matter the circumstances. And um, it, you know, is the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And that's when that's one thing that stuck with me, and that's one thing I've been able to apply to my life. Like even when I'm having these bad days, I show up and I do the work and I do my checklist and you know, uh, make sure I cross everything out before the end of the day, and you know, just be be as responsible as possible, as communicate effectively. Um, do all the little things, take care of myself, rest well, eat right, uh, follow up with people, you know, just all the things that a professional does are just simple, but they do it every single day. So that's kind of like the main thing that I've taken that I've been able to apply to my own life. Mm -hmm. And I kind of have a similar question, but a little more specific. Are there any lessons that you've learned from Gerard from working with him over the last while? I know you mentioned earlier, like uh, recognizing that you're working on things that you prayed to have today or prayed to have in the past, but is there any other lessons that you've learned from Gerard? Man, I've learned so much from G. Like, I think the, I mean, there's obviously, there's many lessons I could probably go on this question for a while, but um, one of the main things is uh, taking imperfect action and this philosophy of going, going against all odds is something that I took I mean, I, I was always like that because of, I've just told you my backstory, like all the odds were against me, but he had all the against, all odds against him. And every time he challenges something, it's almost like if he chooses something that's almost impossible to do, you know what I mean? So when we started this show, like there was nobody doing interviews. So I was like, dude, it might not work, but let's try it. And, you know, a few months later, we started oh, getting some momentum and then it picked up and eventually got to where we're at today. But I feel like this whole idea of like when the entire when the entire odds are against you, understand that if your heart is pure and you have good intentions, the universe is with you. So that's kind of like one of the main main things that I've taken from Jordan. Just you know, being um, resilient, man. Being um, uh, no matter what, like show up and and push forward because there's going to be a lot more bad days and good days, and that's a, that's a guarantee.